Hey guys, thank you for watching the Slat Rock channel, and if you missed our last video, 7 WWE Reboots That Flopped, click here in the upper right corner to see it now. Then, come right back here because right now, the WWE has some superstars whose careers have never been hotter. Men like Braun Strowman and Samoa Joe, and women like Alexa Bliss. And then, there are these superstars, 10 men and women whose careers seem frozen in carbonite. Number 10. Mike Kanellis Mike Kanellis may have set a WWE record for the fastest hot prospect to hit the skids. Mike and Maria's gimmick of a self-absorbed heel couple is the perfect heat magnet. But so far, Mike Kanellis has been counting the lights while Maria blows him kisses. Once again, fans can't help but wonder whether he was brought into the WWE just to deprive another promotion of his talent or the WWE doesn't know what to do with him. Number 9. Emma Emma isn't the first WWE superstar to go to social media to express dissatisfaction with how she's been pushed. As she's finding out though, there can be negative consequences as the WWE seems to be making an example of her for doing so. Recently, Emma lost to Nia Jax in 2 minutes and Mickey James in 3. WWE fans know Emma can put on excellent matches. Just watch her NXT TakeOver London Classic with Asuka to see her squared circle skills. However, Emma's recent bout with Mickey James was a flop, with Emma showing none of the spirit or technique she'd shown in the big smoke. You can't say Asuka carried Emma to a good match while James didn't, because Mickey James is capable of carrying anyone to a good match. In Emma's case, she lobbied on social media for a break, and when said break came along, she blew it. Number 8. Dolph Ziggler Dolph Ziggler is the patron saint of cold wrestlers, having been stuck in the basement for the last several years. Sure, he's held the World Heavyweight Championship twice and numerous secondary titles, but the fans have been conditioned to treat him like a loser. In Ziggler's case, the WWE employed considerable effort in taking a talented wrestler and making him inconsequential to the fans thanks to erratic pushes and frequent turns that make no sense. Destroy Dolph Ziggler Mission accomplished Number 7. Lana The days of diva playboy pillow fights are thankfully a thing of the past, but that doesn't bode well for women with limited wrestling skills being thrown into roles as performers. Lana can't wrestle, and her having a gimmick of someone who can't wrestle won't last long because 1. It's likely she's going to get hurt or hurt someone else, and 2. She's working as a heel. There's no sympathy from the audience to root for her as an underdog. Trish Stratus showed a non-wrestler could become an eventual Hall of Famer with hard work and perseverance, but Lana has a long road ahead of her. If WWE is going to portray Lana as someone out of her element, they need to go about it in a different way. Number 6. Jinder Mahal Things are bad creatively when a promotion's world champion shows up as one of its coldest workers. Here, Jinder Mahal went from a mid-card talent to WWE champion, shocking the WWE universe. Rumor has it that Mahal has the big man look Vince McMahon fantasizes about, but like other big men in the past, his work in the ring leaves much to be desired. Mahal's problem is that he still seems like a mid-card act, only he's walking around with the WWE Championship. There's no telling how long Mahal will remain champion, but it's difficult to imagine him going anywhere but back to the basement once his reign ends. Number 5. Our truth The WWE has a large roster with roles small and large for a variety of performers. Our truth seems to fit the bill of a sideshow attraction, a wrestler who's over enough with fans to provide a pop when needed, but who doesn't belong anywhere near the main event anymore. However, the fact that Our truth is reliable and not prone to injury doesn't mean his career is on fire. Our truth has been on the same path to nowhere for the last few years. He seems to be okay with his role and probably the paycheck, but he is by no means a hot star. Instead, Truth is the kind of wrestler who makes fans say, I, I didn't know he was still wrestling, when he shows up. Number 4. Baron Corbin Baron Corbin seems to be a case of buyer's remorse with the WWE giving him the meaningless win of the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal, then doing nothing the entire year. His Money in the Bank win didn't amount to anything as he failed to win when he cashed it in against WWE Champion Jinder Mahal. Corbin routinely loses at pay-per-views and it's done nothing to get him over, making him yet another example of why consistency is needed if someone stands a chance of getting over. 
Number 3. Jason Jordan Fans expecting the WWE to strap a rocket onto Jordan with the Kurt Angle Sun Angle have been disappointed so far. The logical angle, no pun intended, would be for Papa Kurt to push son Jason unfairly at the expense of others. So far, Angle's involvement has been meaningless and Jordan's work with heel wrestler The Miz has led nowhere. Jason may be longing for the days of American Alpha in the near future if his character gets any colder. Number 2. Enzo Amore Enzo Amore is your classic case of a wrestler with undeniable charisma and microphone mastery. While some may question Amore's in-ring ability, he's a competent enough technician that his mix of charisma and speaking ability should outweigh any other deficiencies. Unfortunately, Amore was placed in a situation where his entire gimmick was to introduce himself and Big Cass. Once Big Cass left the equation, Amore had nothing to do. Add in the fact that he's disliked by many people on the WWE roster, and you have a superstar whose WWE career is suddenly in jeopardy. Number 1. Bray Wyatt The Eater of Worlds has become the Eater of Humble Pie, going from WWE Champion to Enhancement Talent. Wyatt's another sad example of why even the WWE Championship doesn't mean anything. Wyatt's interviews, reminiscent of Jake the Snake Roberts, and his ring talents show that he has all the tools to become a main event star. Fans have embraced the Wyatt character, waiting for his day as a main eventer. That day finally came when he won the WWE Championship, but terrible booking cooled him off rather than made him into a hot star. Wyatt's losses are bad enough, but things like the House of Horror match and his so-called mind games during his match with Orton at WrestleMania made him look more like Papa Shango than the new face of fear. Fans may be longing for the days of Husky Harris if Wyatt gets any colder. As you can see, not every superstar is red hot. Are there any we missed? Be sure to leave your comments and if you liked this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to get more videos just like this one. You can hit that bell icon to get notified every time we post a new video. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. And as always, thanks for watching.